Hello Akuma fans! Charlie with the Gossiker Application staff with another tip for you. Today we'll be talking about an Akuma P300 and 200M control software feature called High Cut. Uh, this software is designed to control the corners if you're exceeding a certain feed rate to keep your part accurate. So as you can see in my, uh, my program block here, I've wrote a little, uh, just a very simple program to put a tool in the spindle, call up a work offset, fire up the spindle. Then it is going to mill a square basically. And we're going at 400 inches a minute, pretty quick. So once I select this and I execute the program, let's put it in my collision avoidance. And uh, but when I start, as soon as it goes into feed mode, you're going to notice right up on top, I get a feed rate command limit over. This is a message, not an alarm. You can tell by the D right here after the word alarm. It's not going to stop the machine, but it's telling me that, hey, this 400 inches a minute is too fast for uncontrolled feeding. And so it is automatically dropping the feed rate to about 200 inches a minute. It's a nice safe place where the, um, the machine knows it can accurately cut apart. So what, does that mean I'm stuck at 200 inches a minute as my maximum feed rate? Heck no. What it means is that I need to uh, enact the high cut software. There are two ways to do it. I'm going to show you the uh, difficult way. For, well, not difficult. Let's let's just call it a more versatile method of turning on this software. It's by using the code G131. That'll turn on your high cut or your super nerves, depending on which one you have. And since we're focusing on high cut, let's only talk about the three variables that high cut requires. The first is a feed rate, and that's represented by the letter F. And this is going to be the maximum safe feed rate for your clamping system, or just the maximum that you want the machine to be allowed to go. In this case, let's just say 800 inches a minute is just fine for, uh, for this fixturing. This is going to limit the machine to 800 inches a minute in any cut. The next letter value I need is an E, and this is the programmed tolerance of the machine. Exactly how sloppy will I allow these corners to, uh, to be in order to make a good part? In general, as a rule of thumb, I use half of my print tolerance. So let's say hypothetically my square, my part has a five thousandths tolerance. So let's knock that in half and say my E value is going to be 0 0.0025. And then the final uh, letter value that we need is a J. And this is indicating whether we're in high speed or high accuracy mode. I'm going to make it one for high speed. Now when I select this program, yes, and go back to my collision avoidance. I've still programmed 400 inches a minute, but because I have enabled the high cut feature, now I'm not going to get an alarm. I'm going to achieve that 400 inches a minute, and the machine is still going to provide an accurate part based on precisely what I have programmed in. You'll also notice that now I've got this yellow block up on top indicating that high cut is active. A bunch of controls have this type of software, but the uh, the other guy's controls, they require you to turn it on when you need it and then turn it off when you're done. Akuma is smart enough to say, hey, you know what? If you turn it on, I'm going to leave it on and I'm going to use it in every condition that I need, but I'm going to ignore it in conditions such as a peck drill that I don't need it. A uh, the some of the other controls will alarm out if you leave their corrective software on when you go into a drilling cycle, not Akuma. Now, if I command something above 800 inches a minute, I'm still not going to get the alarm, but I am going to clamp off at 800 inches a minute. So this is kind of nice and versatile because you can command G130 before this tool and a G, I'm sorry, I said 130, but I meant 131, and G130 can turn it off. Then on the next tool, if I wanted, I could command another G131 and change my parameters based on the tool that uh, I'm currently using and the type of cut that uh, perhaps I want to get in play. 
So this way you can modify those parameters. A lot of times people don't want to hassle with that. And Akuma knows that, hey, yeah, this, this is something that is not necessary to manipulate for every tool. So I'm going to get into my parameters over here on the parameter button and do the F8 display change. And if you look through your list, you should find a button called High Cut Pro Control Parameters. If I touch that guy and close the display change window, these are very simple, uh, uh, simple instructions here. If I want, I can change my execution mode by pushing F1 and change it to Control On. Now that G131 is not necessary. Anytime I'm using a tool that goes above the, uh, the recommended feed rate, it'll automatically engage the high cut uh, pro. My feed rate upper limit, as you saw previously, I had at 800 inches a minute, so I'll put that in. Ooh, hey, not add. <laughs> 800 inches a minute, machining tolerance, we'll set that at 0 0.0025 and my machining mode is either standard or high speed. So that's my G131, that's the F, that's the E, and that's the J. Now that I have that in play and the control is set to on, I'm going to go back in here and delete my G131 statement, but because the control is overriding a fast feed rate, when I do my start, it automatically zoop, kicks on even though there's no G131 in the program. So that's a very handy thing and I do find that a majority of people rather than hassle with it will just go into the parameter page and set that control to on and everybody's happy. Hope this helps you out. If you need any help feel free to leave a message in the comments or con uh, contact your local Gossiker application staff and we'll be happy to help you out. Have a great day.